Hi, I'm Jason Ward from BigGameStarWars.net, and today I'm with my sketchy friend, Rob. He has made t-shirts. <laughs> you have done that. In case you didn't you are technically a t-shirt artist, whereas I yeah, am only uh, a sandwich I, I artist. Wanna, I want to preface this. Licensed apparel for mass market t-shirt. Not, not your... Um... Not your uh, artsy designer friends that all put T-shirts on those trendy websites, right? Like designed by T's or whatever. Those Wait, are. what if it's it, a what different if it, thing? Have you ever designed a shirt that's like white and in blood red across it? It says tasty. Yeah, that's no. where everyone thinks they can make a shirt. So like <laughs> the shirts I made had to sell in tens of thousands not a hundred shirts in 24 hours on the site so it's a different mentality <laughs> just so people know you know i'm not saying it's a more artistic mentality it's a mass market mentality and i did it for about 2005 to 2015 so okay whatever that is i don't do yeah. that yeah so you never got to put juicy across the ass of some sweatpants that never got to happen unfortunately um so <laughs> I <laughs> I wish, yeah I, right. I know one 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 thing i tried to do back in 2013 2014 was uh, i'm a fan of rob liefeld right and he did this captain america that's infamous has this big chest sticking out i think mm -hmm. it's a redrawing of when arnold was doing like the flex because his chest is popping out you know but he's not doing a flex so it's just the chest popping out and so yeah. liefeld refers to it as cap tits right mm -hmm. <laughs> he leans into it and there was this whole thing about don't forget leg day or something. So like we had these muscle tees and I tried to put on them like never forget chest day or like chest day something on there. And Marvel's like, we're not paying because they had anything with life. They have to give him a royalty. And they were like, oh. we're not giving him money for this. And I'm like, it'll no. sell. Like, who wants a muscle tee with that fucking cap tits on there? So whatever. whatever. Yeah. Well, here we go. This is this is the uh, the uh, the uh, first shirt. What do you think? All right. So one this is what i call a style guide shirt yeah so like this is something that more uh disney sorry lucasfilm puts together a package usually disney or marvel and then what you'll do is you'll get this little thing they'll say download the style guide and it'll be like a pdf that shows you all these images on all the different things they can fit on mm -hmm. and so what they'll do is the companies will tend to these days just put them verbatim on a shirt as is to fulfill the marketing plan now they don't like to reinterpret any of that stuff um, uh oh the fashion police are here sorry fashion police so fashion the reason police. why you have obi-wan kenobi the lettering at the top is because if you below that you this is one of those things belly shirts you don't want belly shirts you want chest oriented shirts so they obi-wan kenobi at the top okay um it's a box shirt i i believe in distressing the edges or pulling in some sort of texture so it's not a clean shirt this is something that um what's the store i'm thinking of uh, old navy kind of started doing this program a while back of like straight boxes with clean mechanical shit on a on a heather like or a gray gray body so um i think this works better probably on a black tee with a white you know yeah. like star wars versus the gray tee so right. uh not a fan of the box look you know but i think the, the a art looks a little print looks a little 2005 to me too <laughs> also this would work good on a brown with gold for the obi-wan mm -hmm. kenobi because his brown is going on there and if you had like a mineral that you want to be careful with fashion and mineral washes but you can get these heathers that were see the thing brown is a shirt that no buyer wants on their floor but people buy it's mm -hmm. the weirdest fucking thing like brown will sell guys like to wear brown shirts and probably next to black because it doesn't make you look fat you know what i mean yeah. like it, it matches a lot of our like flannels <laughs> yeah it goes, goes with your jeans and with the whatever you wear uh, yeah yeah it's true so a 30 I, to I 50 a, year old a, white guy will buy brown <laughs> yeah I, I had i had a brown x-wing shirt that i loved i did for like i wore it for years it, and it was my distressed. my buddy my art director did that shirt Good job, so, art, art buddy. Yeah. Art, and that was what, something we learned together. We went together to a different company. Mm -hmm. uh, we left a company called Mad Engine and then went to a company called uh, Logotel and learned about Brown 
you working on peanuts like of all fucking things like the peanut shirts were like this shit sells we were we were super fashiony you know like oh, we're better than this and then when I, I had to learn the hard way like not everything is high fashion so i yeah. think this would work much stronger on a chocolate brown shirt right with a little bit of a distressed edge a little bit you know going on because it's at the end of the day it is jesus looking at you so like, it and is space what's jesus, a little yeah right and i get like his what they did is they took that poster and cropped it like in a straight image you know and it's just weird because you have that little bit of lightsaber at the top and like yeah. that's one of the things where i would probably paint out that lightsaber blue right there because you or get it on the bottom it doesn't need to be there you don't get blue again the only reason why shirts like this work now is because they do something called direct to garment printing dtg so this mm -hmm. is probably a dtg versus they used to have like presses like with six colors on a press and they wheel around lay down ouija a color lay it down ouija so this is an actual like how you do on the internet you print it out direct to mm. garment that's otherwise that blue would never fucking fly like the one on the right yeah. like this would have been a threshold and yeah so i don't know it's 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 a shirt that i would expect to be given away with a marketing program you know yeah it looks like when you buy the video game you get the free shirt right all right this is so. better um not a okay again why that's on a navy with the old west that should be on a brown shirt or a sand mm -hmm. shirt would look great with this. See the distressing around the edges? If yeah. this were like a sand body and that Kenobi was like pulled down, like if you took the, the saturation on this and brought it down 20%, mm -hmm. you know, like I think this would be really strong. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, but it's one it's of the weird. better ones. It's weird because you have those black clouds from the artwork, right? Those ink clouds. And then there's mm -hmm. a white distress pattern around. why is it distressing white on a navy body yeah that's a that's, uh, and here's another thing that's weird they put that logo on the bottom i would have taken that logo replaced the o and kenobi and put the symbol up there mm, yeah that would have been good you see what i'm saying so it yeah. works into the name kenobi and because you're not even noticing that shit but let that shit fall to black right so all the all you you don't want someone inadvertently looking down at your looking like they're looking at your dick when they're checking out your shirt, right? It's just you don't want to be like speak oh, for yourself. Out. I hear you, I hear you, and but they they don't want these jokes and meetings, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm like I'm comfortable looking at guys. Dick they're like, it, look, they're but... Star Wars fans. <laughs> Nobody's looking at their junk. Okay. Fair enough. Right. Right. This one feels like the. Um... 7.99 shirt at target that you see like in the little thing to me well this is the the minimalistic tech look um so i'm assuming this is supposed to be on a woman's body this looks like a woman's tee. it looks like a woman's shirt right? to me yeah um so what i would say to this is this is an option i would also probably do this on like a red heather with like um well see if you use white it inverts his image so what you can do is you can trap behind where it says obi-wan in his face you can fill that with the sand color or that creamish color and then where it says kenobi or that symbol at top i'd put a little extra cream in there the lines behind him very minimalistic yeah you know like but you can put sand in there or that cream and still make it work but that's fine this would also work good like like um something more neonish or something more fun i don't know what what's trending right now you know, yeah. so I'd have to look at the trend boards. Is there is there a chance that if these are going to be available in multiple colors and that this is just what's leaked out, so to speak? I don't know if these leaked. I don't know where they come from. They were just no. These are on presentation bodies, so okay. this is someone's program that they already bought somewhere, mm -hmm. right? Will these eventually maybe make it somewhere? Possibly. I do like the 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 Arobeshi type of Kenobi. Yeah, you know. I, I do don't like the uh, cool. the uh, Jedi symbol on the top though, that that kind of that mm. that again is a style guide. That's a Lucasfilm branding thing. Like yeah. that they'll throw that shit in there. Like they don't understand those are competing elements. Mm -hmm. You know, so like something like that, I would delete it if I had to, and mm -hmm. then you could put it behind it and distress the shit out of it, so it creates a circle hit yeah. behind him somehow. You know what I mean? Like if you wanted to, otherwise like just delete it all together you know yeah that's what but I these would, yeah. these tech looks they went hard on that on the rogue one movie and that didn't really move a lot mm. so like it, it with tech stuff dude you have to like it has to be like 
um technique driven like if you have like a foil or something you know what i mean or like a glow in the dark or some kind of like technique or on a really interesting body mm -hmm. you know like a like, like a like hot the, girl like a red heather like a, 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 a red a heather a with, shirt. with red hair is that what we're talking about? Yeah. I, I'm, it lost me. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Red Heather is, you know those Heather shirts, like the gym shirt you'd get? They have yeah. like a, those are called Heathers. So okay. like, because they have like a little bit of like a, it looks like almost like a pastel mixture in there, kind of like as a little bit of, you know, like the gym shirt. But there's mm -hmm. a red, you've seen the Millennium Falcon on a red shirt with the mm -hmm. technical, te the, the boost. The, that's a Red Heather shirt. That, that's yeah, on. yeah, yeah. You could yeah. not see that one. I think I got people, 14 of those sent to me during the, during the Force Awakens era. They just kept sending me stuff like that. Yeah, that's my bad. I gave that 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 image to my buddy at Mad Engine to do because I, yeah. I wasn't there and I was trying to get blueprint shirts and they were like, because I have all those West End games. I'm like, just put every all the blueprints on a shirt. Fuck these people, you know, like because I always wanted that. And then that was the one that took. So, <laughs> But people generally don't just buy red shirts. This looks like an Old Navy buy, this type of thing. Like yeah. a navy thing. So the, that's is, just the poster that they cropped here. Yeah. yeah, and then this is this is like like these will be like the art that they're using from these things, I guess. Or a Walmart a, poster, you know, when you got that poster. Yeah, bin. probably on a mug. You could see this on a mug. Backpack. Mm -hmm. Mug. Yeah. Uh, faux lunchbox. Yeah, as a as a Star Wars fan, it's like obviously I love I love Space Jesus, but at the same time. It's like this does like this all feels like it's. It, I mean, we do have Obi Wan Kenobi fighting, but it's young Kenobi, but it still looks like the old Kenobi kind of. They 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 changed the silhouette of him a little bit with with the new costume, so you could tell that it's new. But it it feels classic, but I don't know if it feels classic in a good way. I I, I, I just feel, feel for marketing mm -hmm. on clothing, you need something more like the Struzan. Even the Struzan Revenge of the Jedi, where it's really silhouette with some texture. Remember that red Revenge of the Jedi poster where it's them clashing? This is like that, mm -hmm. the Luke Vader thing. You need something really striking. Yeah. Right? And so, like, lackadaisical, you in there, it's very fine for the show, but on a shirt, it could just be like, well, especially <laughs> when, when when we've seen them like like force pushing each other with like the sabers looking all badass and stuff. This is very much just like, hey. Let's fight, right. Todd. You will. They tend to not do rascal. any of that artwork. They tend to not do any of the art versions now because these guys have publicists that have to approve anything with their image on there. Right. So even if I took this image and I tried to threshold or do something, it would then mm. have to go back and get approved, and they don't want that. So there's yeah. that problem. Yeah, there was a there was a video recently of you and angry that they put his poster. They put his head on a poster when he had the the uh, wig, the short wig on, when he had his long hair for a life less ordinary. And then they on his long hair for a life less ordinary, they put the the Padawan wig on top of that. And it it, it looks bad. And uh and somebody picked that for a poster and he was pretty pissed off about it. So all right, so <laughs> <clears throat> The, the the three up thing is uh the horizontal this is an idea you you need you need something funny to go with this because mm -hmm. that look is that look is great that look that top look it's just... it looks pretty memeable doesn't it <laughs> yeah yeah i feel like they're trying to capture that star wars manga but with threshold photos mm -hmm. you know is what they're kind of going for here um there's something to this. Like if this was Lego Obi-Wan and Lego Vader, I think, and those were like Lego hands with the sabers, that's a banger. Yeah. That will move. If this was Lego Star Wars, this would move. This would probably move a, a, like a Spencer's if you get the right, if you could add like a word balloon or something mm -hmm. on there that makes it fun. Yeah. I almost want like the, the middle part to be like them sitting on bean bean bags playing Nintendo or something. <laughs> just to, gotta take just, the logo off. Yeah, gotta, they'll gotta delete that logo. And you were telling me before that like with like uh solo, you you, you knew that like they had to put so, like solo a Star Wars story on had to be on yeah, they everything. Made, they so they made a solo yeah. shirt with a solo logo on it. And it was like yeah. enough. This is this is one of those things where it's like, well, can we hide the sometimes you can hide it by doing um 
Like if this is on a black shirt, I can print a black if that's one of the colors in the sets. Mm -hmm. So that black is printed, but it's so light. It's there. You can see it, but it's not something you register on the, the image, you know? Yeah. 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 But yeah, this, I, I like the idea of this a lot more than I like, I think, the execution. This is badass. Looks This looks right here mm -hmm. is exactly what I was saying about the Struzan impressionistic. I would take this. And then what I would do as an artist is I got the brushes and I would extend the sides out, right? Mm -hmm. I would draw in like the red kind of coming out and then the blues kind of like, I would, I would just extend those pieces out to look more loose on a black shirt. So they kind of come up like an X on there, you know, yeah. and the kind of the, the, the sabers I would distress down or in somehow so that it doesn't, it can't come all the way up. You have like a limit you can print up to here. Um, and I would probably like, there's that red stuff on the left of oh you want whatever that is back there i clean that up that's i don't know what that is i, I could already predict that if this is going to be the episode 10 poster since the 10 roman numeral watch this is great but, this is well, fantastic i, I could do a million future. things with this yeah, yeah this is this is great love this yeah that's great too that would be the ones that i would be using if i had to find a way to put his face on a shirt somewhere this would be the one yeah. Again, it needs creative edging and to continue out the paint process around it. But you could, we did one back in the day with Wolverine in 2005. It was a Pat Lee drawing where he just has like his claws like this. And then we were able to with paintbrushes make it look more painterly around the edges. Same thing here. Like, yeah. When they yeah. do something like this, do they, do they still need you and McGregor's, uh, sign off no on this it? has been pre-approved you would just okay. need the licensor the the person you're working with to approve the distressed so you show the reference image with the yeah. package and so here's the reference and then now sometimes you'll get some fucking asshole who never ever looked at their own and I've, i get angry at this because i've been through this where they've never seen their mm -hmm. own fucking style guides and they go mm -hmm. it looks like more camel and put it more on my you know make it look more like the actor i'm like it's your fucking art like, mm -hmm. like i can see that already happening right now like some asshole is going to tell me because I look at it's a little Mark Mark Hamilly, you know, mm -hmm. but they already approved it. And then, you know, Rob doesn't get all angry. He just goes, it's their shit. And then the director <laughs> goes, it's their shit. And then they fucking approve it. And move on, you know. <clears throat> so. This is a cool poster yeah. that could use more painted shit, in my opinion, um, but because there's so it's a blue and orange but there's only one blue the saber problem is you're looking up at him and then you're looking down at the saber um i guess i guess i would Vertical. want some blue lighting in his bottom half right mm -hmm. and then wherever it says obi-wan kenobi to be blue or i don't know there's something there because the problem when you put blue over that it turns a little muddy yeah you know so you need less transparency on the saber and you need a bigger kick of blue I would I would highlight little blues in his cape and his boots that are balancing off that saber like a strong blue. Not and and muddy. and Tat Tatooine sunsets are are very purple. And whenever they do art and stuff like this, they never include the purple. I always find that kind of interesting. Whenever yeah. they translate the, um, Tunisian it. skies have purples in them. Yeah, I highly recommend if you're interested in color, track down the Prince of Egypt uh, Blu-ray or DVD. Mm -hmm. from the animated film prince of egypt and listen to the audio commentary mm -hmm. and um you can get a good sense of how they color design that whole film because i think the look of egypt and you know eastern asia in general is uh quite amazing in that film and falls right into star wars. i mean i always thought when they did it if they ever did a 2d animated star wars film when i saw prince of egypt i'm like you could do it like this where the humans are fairly realistic but they do have a style to them yeah. you know like like it would have worked brilliantly but this is a good idea. Um, this is sick. I love this. So and that's where that cool. other old Western image is pulling, and they fucked that up. They pulled that if that if if that Western shirt wasn't pulled from a comic book and it was this, whoever did that needs to have a talking to. <laughs> 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 I love this. This yeah. gets me excited. Yeah, this yeah. one looks pretty rad. I, the I, impastos uh, are great. Yeah. Yeah. So in t-shirt land this is one of those things where you have to go to dtg because back in the day with with plastisol printing you could never get those impastos there's just too mm -hmm. many colors oh, okay um they'd have to threshold it and then it would just look like little blobs of stuff together you know 
Yeah. But these days, I think, I think you could manage to get a bit of that. Um, at the very least, though, that the problem, the only thing I would say um, is I would probably take a little bit of the blue from his saber, and I would mm -hmm. create a little rim light that goes from that saber all the way up to his his cloak so that you look up. Because right now you're just looking at his chest or his belt area. Yeah. You know? Yeah, his belt. My eyes tend to, tend to dart towards the even, belt. Yeah, so even when you look back, just take your eyes and kind of just where your, your eyelashes hit and squint. And that's the – and you're kind of being drawn where that blue is. Mm -hmm. So I would continue or just a rim light up where his cloak is to pop that forward. Yeah. 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 Definitely fun. And then this feels like 2005. To this me. is so 2005's Lucasfilm, man. This mm -hmm. is the Drew Struzan when they they photoshopped a Vader helmet in. Mm -hmm. So not a bad idea, but like again, something where they should have hired an artist of Struzan's caliber to take this idea and continue it. Yeah, way better because there's like like the fact that they're down there and there's this giant bulbous empty area in the center, and then the logo is this bad composition. Yeah. Good idea, not the way it should go. Is that because it, do you think it's because of the assets that they had? Like, is this created using using a set of assets and they're just putting it together? Different pieces of things and putting it together. Mm -hmm. And then Struzan would complain. He talks about this in his Art of Struzan book. Um, okay. I got it somewhere around here. Deep. Yeah, it's right here, actually. I always keep it handy. <laughs> the Art of Drew Struzan. This book, you can't oh, see my it. fucking. I know. Look, it's, look, it's YouTube's blocking me. They won't. There you go. Look. Okay. This is the one you yeah. Want. The one with the Harry one Potter want. and Blade Runner so, on the front. The, my my technology knows that's not a human, but he talks mm. about this era when they on the Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. And what happens here? And basically, what happens is they hire. He goes people who know the Photoshop but don't know how to make art. It's not true. I know Photoshop. I know how to make it. But he is right in that you have people that are used to composing and cropping things together in Photoshop, but they have never learned how to properly like, um, weight things artistically, mm. like how to like the fact that there's a little thin strip of red down there and there's no red in the star. Like, like it's just, it's just weird. There's no bounce red. Like you know that Vader one that's painted where they're fighting. There's like these little strips of red and they're gleaming and reflecting. If there was some cool texturing or something going on, inside that would be something right yeah. but it's all it's weird you're just looking at the center and it's dead it's like <laughs> i feel like in another realm that would have been the death star reflected in its helmet or something you well, know like, like like what actually bothers me about this one is we have obi-wan and and darth vader fighting against the head of sad vader and i feel yeah. like in the terms of the story and and what they're going for in it Vader is sad. There is sadness there, but he's more of a ominous, looming figure. I just feel like it was the wrong, the wrong Vader for this this particular. This looks too Revenge of the Sith, and not in a good way. Yeah, I know people are like, "Whoa, I love the movie." That Vader leaning into frame thing. It's not. It's yeah, not a, it doesn't work. Say something wrong about Lambhead. Lamb you can't. Perfect. You can't because Lambhead is perfect. Could could could, could remove the logo. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. The logo. Have we knew to, the, brand. to... it's, it, the branding is in the tag. They know what they're getting. You know, <laughs> like that's that's something that I just tell people. And by the way, if you can never print a tag and just print on the inside of the shirt, even better. Fuck tags. You know, right? I hate tags. I hate tags. Just do a one. Tags suck. Yeah. Well, thank you for evaluating all of the Kenobi shirts, posters, mugs, Anytime. erasers. Happy to do it pads my i'm gonna oh. i'm gonna get a fucking email from my friend who probably did this you know like i got a couple like, friends still working on this fuck you man yeah. fuck you rob yeah, yeah i'm but, like, all, right. all right you still get a bonus based off my work now so my shit still sells <laughs> we did it the end of the show come on let's go hey it's the end of the show come on let's go hey it's the end of the show come on let's go hey you know you should Go. Come on, let's go. It's not about spaceships.